Somebody do the wheels. Me. Somebody do the wheels. Oh, 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 right <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Somebody do the wheels. I look a mess. I came from the gym earlier. I haven't been able to take my shower or anything. Oh my god. I'm in his car, so I don't have like I don't have my um like uh what is it called? Where you set it up on thing? I don't have that. So y'all don't have to bear with me. My husband had a flat tire, I had to go grab him. So that is what we are currently yeah, you're recording, are you? Right Tell now. me about mommy's. I didn't. Well, all I said was that you had a flat tire. I so have a flat tire. We're running around right now, trying to get this handled. So I've been using the sulfur for the last. Um, if you watch my previous vlog, I told you guys that I was gonna start using the sulfur tin and the ointment y'all do y'all see how smooth and clear my face is like this is no filter nothing this is legit just pure washing my face with um the soap the sulfur a soap and i have been using the salicylic acid uh soap which also is from a hispanic uh brand once I go to go get the other stuff the, for the haul that I'm going to do, I'll show you guys what other soap I've been using. But, um, yeah, I literally just, and they're both bar soaps. I put them on my face. I, you know, mix them together on my face or whatever, clean my face. And then I just do my routine as usual using a toner and then putting some moisturizer on my face. Um, but, yeah, like, do y'all see my face and y'all know i'm aging and i have a little bit of like dark spots right here and right here but aside from that when it comes to acne i have not had any issues pop-ups nothing since i've been using that um what's the name the uh soap on my face for the last couple days what she does the dollar tree Oh, yeah, they say no dollar walk tree around in here. You got the cherry juice on my ass. I don't have the cherry juice on your ass. Cherry juice on my ass. So, yeah, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. My husband just tripped and fell into the door going into this store. So, anywho, I didn't want to say it while he was around. But, baby, you know how you be having one of them days. And I'm sorry, if you, because this is following up from the last vlog. If you watched my last vlog, then y'all know, baby, I was crying earlier. Okay, I was crying earlier. I had my whole little, like, spiel about why I was crying earlier. So, please go to the last vlog and watch that vlog. But, um, anyway, so, yeah, my husband has been having a rough day as well. You know we both Capricorns. So, maybe it's just a rough day for Capricorns in general. But, anywho, so, he ended up catching a flat tire right before he was going to a client's house. And then, also, uh, he's in incongruent to that. He's also hunting a client down for money. So he's just having a, you know, he like, okay, I got my flat tire. Now that's more money. Then I don't know if you have had to buy a used tire recently, but they're literally price gouging everybody. So when tires used to be legit, like $40 for a used tire, they're not charging like a hundred, 140 for a used tire, which is crazy. So yeah, he sits in my car and I had cherries in my car and girl, he sat on the damn cherry. So now his whole butt, it looks as though he's on his period, y'all. 
Yeah. So. We're just having one of those days at this point. So, he about to get back in the car. Yeah, um, let me know how y'all think this did on my face. Yeah. Y'all, it's about two or three hours later. When I tell y'all, please keep triple A, um, what is it? Triple A, some type of roadside assistance. Kevin, can I have a key? Some type of roadside assistance, something. Now, get this. We sit here thinking that we have roadside assistance that came with our insurance. Why was roadside on every single car? except for the car that has the damn flat tire. I need the key, the key. So yes, y'all, all the cars, we got three cars, all cars, all the cars, or the new, two newer cars have the roadside assistance and the older work van doesn't have any coverage. So they're telling us like, oh, it's gonna be $95. I told my husband, fuck it, we'll just pay the $95. You know how we are as women. I don't give a damn. Pay the money for convenience. His cheap ass, I'm not paying that. Well, you about to just be sitting here trying to figure this shit out then. Cause I, I can't do it. I can't do it no more. So right now, I'm just sitting in the car talking to y'all. This is jalapenos and church's chicken. I got a nice little two-piece deal. So we had two pieces of chicken, a jalapeno, and a biscuit for $3.49, y'all. Today has been a day, okay? And I keep trying to tell my husband he making it worse. He keep manifesting bad stuff. Or for the day to get worse and worse. Because you know he a cancer. And you know y'all cancer so manifest that. Because y'all the moon sign. Y'all the rulers of the moon. And manifesting come from the moon. That water. I was watching a video today talking about manifestation and how to manifest based on your moon sign. Y'all, this man is doing everything possible to try to get this car up off the ground. I was watching a video about manifesting and how you manifest with the moon and how, I mean, by you manifest based off your moon sign and how for some people, it's basically about, or for everyone, it's about self-care and things that you do to take care of yourself that helps you draw in the energy of money. That was saying for me, cause I got a Pisces moon that I need my own secluded me time. So doing stuff like this, like caters to my moon and fulfills things that I want to happen or it helps me manifest by filming and doing um, like daily vlogs and stuff like that. So expect more videos, at least like daily vlogs and stuff like that. Because I do feel happy when I'm filming and taking pictures and getting dressed up and all the rest of that stuff. Figure out what your moon sign is and cater to that and see if you start making or attracting more money into your experience. And let me know down in the comment section if it worked. I guess you could say that's like another manifesting technique that you can use in tandem with scripting scripting listening to you know subliminals affirmation what um yeah see he paid a 95 dollars like i see it the fuck what you do for love it's hot outside it's friday 
It's 95 degrees. I most definitely got a nigga. And a nigga show got me. Cause baby, I'm in this hot ass car. Trying to catch a breeze. Cause we gonna run out of gas. If I keep running these streets. Y'all. So we just here. My husband is being honoring. Saying that he doesn't want to pay $95 for somebody to come out and jack him up. Um, the jack you have, sir, is not good enough. It keeps slipping. So, what the f else you want to do? I said, well, do you want to go get a jack, man? If you don't want to pay the $95 for that, we could go pay $95 for a legit jack. You don't want to go spend 95 on a good jack? do that though so i'm sitting here like yeah that's my man i'm gonna stick beside him hot dinner mud he keep telling me that i could go home i'm not about to leave you on the side of the road anything could happen you stranded yeah you got so far on or whatever that could end up dying mm -mm. i'm not about to leave my man on the side of the road I ain't about to happen. Y'all, my husband sitting here looking like the thinking man, baby, on the side of the road. He is. He concentrating his life. He like, damn. I done told her about five, six times. I don't want to pay ninety five dollars. <laughs> Should I renege? Should I swallow my pride and say Fuck it and just pay the ninety five dollars? Cause baby, about two hours ago. We wouldn't have even been going through all this. Mama would have paid the $95. That's just me, though. My baby been having a rough day. I thought my day was rough earlier. He has been rough, rough. Okay, y'all, so currently Kevin and I are at the mall. We just had some time to kill before our movie starts. We're gonna go see Twisters. So, I was just bringing you guys with us. I kinda wanna go see if C got some new candies and see um, is this one place in the middle of the mall that sells these donuts. Hmm. Anywho, see you guys in a minute. starts maybe like 15 minutes after the actual what's that dang i might not be able to post this because they got the music playing in the background hold on all right i'm gonna yak first Hey y'all, 
not done getting my nails done i think they look cute they look cute for my hands um i'm gonna have to teach him i guess i'm gonna have to like continue to go so that they look decent i feel like they look nice though i like them it's something i'm gonna have to get used to um i normally just get a color so to be sitting here having actual pink and white um i'm just not used to having pink and white <laughs> So right now, I'm about to leave. I just called Kevin. Kevin said he been waiting on me to get back to the house or whatever so that we can go to the mall. I'm going to this furniture store to see if I can um, get a new couch or at least to see like what they got to determine if I want to get a new couch or not. Um. So yeah. That's what I'm currently about to do. How y'all like my skin? Like, is my skin doing good? I've been using, like, consistently using that sulfur and, um, what is it? Sulfur and salicylic acid bar soap on my face. And, baby, my face looks so clear. Tell me it don't look clear. Anywho, let me call y'all right yet. Look, call please let, let me get right back to y'all i gotta call my auntie because she been sitting there call, she called me earlier and i want to at least like talk to her for a second so hold on Somebody do the wheels. Me. Somebody do the wheels. Oh, shoot, he's he's oh, right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Somebody do the wheels. Come on, Ava. Somebody you got to do the wheels, wheels Ava. Ava. She can't prepare with her little boots. Come on, Ava. Clean the wheels to the butt. Okay, all done to the butt. I'm gonna get misty. Washing some cars. I'm about to. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin gonna be laughing.
everything at the bus stop. Oh, look at this. And music at the bus stop. Free face painting. This is so nice. Hey everybody, so currently right now I'm at the Smoky Note. Um, right now we are at the Route 66 Fest. I think it's called Route 66 Fest. We're basically, they shut down Route 66, which is called Central Avenue, the new name for Route 66. And basically it's a, a street, a block party. Um, so anywho, yes, I'm here with my friends. Kevin is outside with my friends. I just stopped inside the bathroom to, you know, use the bathroom and freshen up a little bit and then we're gonna head out for tonight. So I was just giving you guys an update. See you guys in a minute. <laughs> Okay, y'all, 
so currently we are walking on 60, Route 66. Well, I'm walking by myself on Route 66. All of my friends are drunk and doing something. I don't know what. Um. So yes, we're just walking up to the end of the festival, and then we're gonna walk back. It legit took us like two and a half hours because we were stopping and just doing stuff the whole time. Oh, they yeah, absolutely love me. Looking at you, they were looking at that thick ace. Who? Oh, I didn't see. <laughs> I didn't see them. You crazy as hell. You I'm know like, that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at the horse. about that i'm about to switch my uh weekly schedule for my workout i hate when this happens because i hate being thrown off and not getting to the gym so today i'm gonna go to body pump for an hour y'all know i love getting two hours in at the gym but today unfortunately i wasn't able to get two hours in at the gym <sighs> It looks like inevitably what I'm going to have to start doing is going at 5.30 a.m. Just saying forget it. And just going to the 5.30 a.m. classes and calling it a day. And then probably coming back for an hour in the evening. Just to ensure that I get like my workout in. Uh, I just been feeling so weird lately. Like, I've been feeling very socially awkward. I've been feeling inadequate in regards to, like, my current friend group. Like, I legit was sitting there wondering, like, am I still best friends with my best friend? Like, my me and my best friend have been best friends for 20 years, but I haven't been talking to her as much since I've moved out here. And, you know... I understand we both have family we're both married we both have kids and life gets busy but it's like sometimes i would just be going through stuff and i just don't want to burden her with it you know i just don't want to call her and burden her with it and i feel like well at that point are we still best friends but then again, all the stuff that I've been through over the years in regards to like my marriage and friendships and like family and 
betrayal in those aspects of my life I, I'm kind of to the point where it's like I really don't want to talk about it with anybody because I'm kind of afraid that they're then gonna have like a whole conversation with somebody else about my decisions and me just coming and venting to them about whatever is going on in my life so a lot of times I talk to my little sister about it if you guys don't know I have a little sister it's an 8 year age gap she is 26 years old so it's not like I'm venting to my little teenage sister or anything she is a grown woman low key like my sister is my best friend you get what I'm saying like I could come to her ask her talk to her about anything but saying outside but that's my sister you get what I'm saying it's my she's my best friend but she's also like the closest like family to me but outside of my sister I don't have like a best friend so I feel like I'm developing that now with my current friendship that I'm developing out here um her name is Devetta um so hopefully I told her I'll let her know what my YouTube channel is like soon that's another topic for another day why I have not told anybody about my YouTube channel but um yeah so I feel like I don't know I feel like with when you meet somebody who you just genuinely like connect with just on all like not all levels because of course not physically but <laughs> uh like just saying like vibe wise like somebody who you able to talk to they have emotional intelligence and you just feel like it's reciprocal if she ever needed anything like when I say anything if it was somebody to take her to the hospital drive with her cross country to you know go visit a family member whatever the case may be like I'm willing to do that for her because like our friendship like I really just appreciate her as a human being she's just like an amazing person I feel like I'm developing that with her um every time and then not only that but she's like the only friend for real for real that my husband is like yeah like she's great you know what I'm saying like he actually likes her because a lot of times Kevin be like Asia <sighs> like why are you befriending this person I see this this and that and I really need to I me personally I feel like I really need to start listening to my husband when it comes to stuff like that because of course as women we're like oh ain't no man gonna tell me who to be friends with and who not to you know be friend or whatever but for me personally I have what is it called I have uh Neptune in the seventh house which is in like the area of friendship, like relationships, business stuff. So it's like, I kind of have rose colored glasses when it comes to meeting people and what I see in them. You get what I'm saying? And it'd be so funny because it never fails. Something ends up happening and I'm like, fuck. I'm like, Kevin was right. You know what I'm saying? My husband was right. <laughs> I shouldn't have been messing with this person or talking to this person. Me personally, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being super duper emotional. And I just need to like calm the f down and just focus on me and not really. I feel like, okay, so this is the thing. People act a certain way towards me and then I don't, I don't put it on that person. I put it on myself like I feel like well what is wrong with me or what am I doing or how am I acting to make somebody treat me that way and then it just turns into a over compulsion and obsession of me trying to figure out how to change whatever behavior that is I guess like constantly offended other people to make them treat me a certain kind of way i'm trying to learn how to get out of it and just be okay with the fact of i'm not for everybody you get what i'm saying like i'm just not for everybody and it's okay that i'm not for everybody i'm just and it's not that i don't know that already it's just you know sometimes it still hurts my little pisces feelings 
Because, you know, like, with me, it's, it's like, you know, I like everybody. I always give everybody the benefit of the doubt. So, when people act a little bit weird with me, I'm like, well, what the f did I do to you? Anywho, yeah, I've just been feeling kind of inadequate when it comes to, like, my friend group or me finding a new friend group. So, please give me some advice down in the comment section below if you moved to a new area and you moved completely away from your friends and family and it's a little bit of distance and you're like hey i'm trying to meet new friends but i don't really know how to really meet new friends especially being an adult because it's hard y'all and then of course with me and kevin going out all the time like we met we meet new people but sometimes they be like young you get what i'm saying and it's like yeah i look young everybody say that i look like i'm around like 26 between 24 depending upon who it is but between 24 and they don't even say 30 baby they don't even be thinking i'm 30 years old but they think i'm between 24 and like 28 and that's if I ask them like how old do you think I am and because I'm asking them that it immediately makes them be like oh she's not that young if she's asking me how old do I think she is or whatever so people immediately would jump to around 27 28 if I ask them how old am I not knowing baby i'm actually 33 okay mama is old like this weekend we went out with my friend and she had got started talking to these new guys or whatever and um the guys were highly surprised when kevin had told them that he was 35 years old so he started calling he started calling him unk and kevin like wait hold on don't be age shaming me now hold on because you didn't even think I was that old at first. With me, people do, they think I'm like 24 to 28-ish. And then when I say I have an 11-year-old, they're like, what? They're like, well, how old are you? If they were thinking I'm like 21, they're like, you had him when you was like 14? Like, what? what? So... Or if I'm, they, if I'm 24, they're thinking I had them at like, what, 14? Yeah, 14, 11, so we're around here. So, 12, whatever. So, the issue with that as well, because a lot of times people judge you based off of how you look um, and how you present yourself. A lot of times people, people my age or older, they don't want to they don't even give me any type of attention nothing saying in regards to being open for conversation for a friendship because they're like oh she's too young you get what i'm saying she's not in my age group i don't have anything in common with her but in actuality is like baby even if you're 47 yeah you may be 10 years older than me but it's it's closer than the 20 year age gap that you think you have with me so it's not until I start talking and, you know, start telling people about myself that they're like, oh, you're older. You just look super young. I'm like, yeah, I just look young. That's it. And that's the thing. Y'all think I look like I'm 25, 26. Baby, my sister, she gets carded all the time. People think she's like 12 years old. People really think that my my 26, going on 27 year old sister, they think she's legit like a middle schooler. So she has she has to be telling people like, if you don't put some respect on my name, yeah, my sister isn't like the uh, Gen Zers. How they're like, oh, the Gen Zers look super old. Mm -mm. My sister looks completely not her age. So I end up dealing with that as well. And then because I live the lifestyle that I live in regards to like I've been married since I was 23 years old. Um, I got three kids. Um, I have like a corporate job, you know, like I live my life 
as though I'm like in my 40s as well. Like, yeah, I'm young and I still go out and stuff, but I'm saying outside of going clubbing and, and going out, I mainly like live my life like a 40 year old. So then even in that, people my age, I can't relate with. Like the only way I can really relate is if we're going out all the time, not really on no like, they could understand where I'm coming from because a lot of people aren't in long-term relationships and it's like I've been there done that and not saying that I'm so far past it I can't be a friend or a confidant but I've done that before with friendships and it never turned out good and I'm sorry I'm just to the point where I'm not that type of friend that lets my friends drain me by uh, trauma dumping I just don't let my friends do that to me no more because of all the trauma I've had in friendships with people doing that. And then when it came time for me wanting to trauma dump, if you want to call it, vent about my relationship, whatever the case may be, nobody was ever there for me. So, yeah, I just I don't do that in my relationships no more. I'm just kind of like this is what it is. Good morning, y'all. AJ the J here, and I am back with another video. I know I look so barefaced and plain and i'm loving it so today is friday the 26th of july and y'all i'm tired <laughs> i'm playing um so i got a couple of things to do i got some work to finish up with at my nine to five i gotta edit down a video and then um I'm thinking about going and getting a new family member. So today we are going to go look at some puppies, see if the puppies will be a fit for us. Um, so anywho, yeah, those are the main things that I have to do today. And then of course, go to the gyms. Also, if you made it to this point in the video and you haven't subscribed yet, I need you to do that, okay? What are, what, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? <laughs> so, anywho, I'm about to wash my face, brush my teeth, and then head in there to go do some work. Um, hit you guys in a minute. Look at him. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, I know you're excited. <laughs> he's a little intimidating because he's big now, but he's a really nice. Hi, like, oh, baby. How are you doing, sweetie? Hi, baby. Yeah, picture of the kids all. <laughs> like this, Sadie. Isn't that cute? Yes. <laughs> hey, everybody. So, we went to go see the puppies. Me and the kids. The kids are in the back. And we bought a puppy. So, we now have a new member of the family. Now we a family of what? Six? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we a family of six. How do you like the dog, Jace? Oh, I like it. I like, like how it gets big and then hair get curly. I like the curls more. Yeah. So, Jace, he, we end up choosing the one that Jace, or the, the one that took to Jace first. And then all of us, you know, we were hugging the dog and playing with the dog and stuff. And he vibed, like we all got a good vibe off of him. He, he's like that chill one. Yeah, he's like real chill. We we appreciate it. So we end up getting a schnoodle. That's what they're called. Uh, it's a mix between a schnauzer and a doodle. So we end up getting a black one. Because you know we a black family. So we had to continue representing with the black dog. Um, he's all black with two uh, white paws in the back. So his hind legs are white and then he does have some white like here in this area. 
so yeah y'all we got a dog i'm so excited i love him already <sighs> we're gonna, we gonna get him on like um august 11th yeah we're supposed so we can't get him now because he's too young and he hasn't had his um shots yet so we do pick him up next month which next month is right around the corner so we pick him up next month y'all i'm so excited i freaking love him i love him you love him too yeah so yes y'all we got a dog okay y'all see y'all in a little bit okay so it's a lot later i took a shower and i end up cooking well actually technically i was cooking all day i end up making some corned beef and we ended up making sandwiches out of them yes that's miss ava um so my friend she's on her way over but i did want to do a little haul of all the stuff that i got Oreo. Yes, y'all. We end up coming up with the puppy's name. His name is Oreo. So, um, as you seen, we were in what was that? Um, Home Goods. So I went to Home Goods and got him a couple of things. Of course, I'm gonna be constantly buying him stuff over the next couple of weeks. So first thing that I got. Okay. Oh, you're helping me? Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate your help. Mm, love you. Um, okay, so first thing that I got. Okay, what's this, Ava? Let's show them. What's this? Uh, what's this? For dogs. It's for dogs, and what do they do with it? Drink and eat. Yes, they drink and eat out of it. Okay, you guys. So, oh, how about I... What's the name? That's hey wait hold on hold on not it then cracks already hold on let me make sure this is not my actual okay y'all so anywho i wanted to show y'all this so first thing we got is a um what's this called a food tray so we put his water and his um food in there and then we got a food container, which I thought was so cute because, you know, I am revamping my house and the color is like neutral tone. So I was happy I was able to find this cream top. So these go in here and then we bought him some uh, deodorizing pet wipes. We bought him a collar, a little harness for when we take him on walks. We bought him some toys and then we bought him some uh, waist bags because, of course, we have to pick up all his poopy. Yeah, you and you picking what? up all his no, poopy. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, really? You guys didn't want a dog? No, I said no. You're the one who getting a dog uh-uh y'all been talking about getting a dog for the longest now all of a sudden i'm talking about picking up poop and now all of a sudden everybody is like oh no it was your idea y'all y'all see this y'all see how quick people be sitting there switching up once responsibility comes i can't believe this yes y'all i'm sitting on the floor in my kitchen so, oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I recently bought a new ice maker. Here, can y'all put this, this stuff back in here for me? I got a new ice maker, y'all. Um, This ice maker, 
this ice maker it like falls down and then it pushes the ice out and look i have the irwan ice y'all when you put it inside your actual cup the ice is clear i don't have any water like surrounding it to show that it's clear but yeah i love 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 my ice maker only thing is for a couple days it was making a weird noise as of lately it hasn't been but i already put in what is that oh the thing but i've already put it in for a return because here because i ain't got time you know what i'm saying this this uh, ice maker was like 150 dollars i love how it makes ice oh here let me show y'all what it do okay so y'all see how it just did that and you as you can see the ice comes out clear and it comes out I don't like just like Irwan, it, it comes out clear i use a uh, purified water so I use um, bottled water when filling this up. Do not fill it up. If you want the clear water, do not fill it up with like regular tap water. Do purified water. You can even, if you stay in California, you want to go to Irwan and use their mineral water or whatever water, use that to fill it up and you will get the clear water. I mean the clear ice. Now the thing about it is it, it's a high capacity um, ice maker. So you will need the equivalent of uh six bottles of uh bottle water saying like a full size bottle of water to fill the whole uh car cartridge up i do like that because literally i only have to refill it about i say every three days yeah about every three days i refill it so, which is great compared to having to do it at least like once a day when I use my other ice maker or when I have my other ice maker. So, yes. Anywho, y'all, that's what's been going on today. I didn't have a whole lot. I went to the gym at 8 this morning for an hour for a body pump. Ava, calm down. That was good. Then I came home. Or did I go shopping? Oh, I went shopping. I had bought all the corned beef and everything. I didn't take y'all with me because I was on the phone with my mama. I had uh, went and cleaned my car because y'all, my car was horrible. Between the kids spilling sweet and sour sauce everywhere in the back seat, and just like it being dusty because I hadn't sat there and like really for real, for real cleaned my car in a long time, it needed to be done. So earlier, Ava and I went to the car wash got the car wash and then you know did all the detailing or whatever that took about an hour yeah we was gone for about an hour cleaning the car which i'm happy because now when i get in my car because it was bad y'all it was smelling like like stale milk in the heat of the summer yeah it was bad so my husband he was like what did you spill in here i'm like i didn't spill anything in here i end up detailing it and everything and now it smells like cherries i'm so happy cherries and uh what was the other one sea breeze tropical something oh blue lava that's what it's called i end up getting those scent blocks and i put them underneath my car so hopefully seeing that you know they're inside the car and it's hot hopefully it's just boofing all around the car so that the car smell like blue lava mm -hmm. my friend is on her way so she'll be here in a little bit and we just gonna chill here tonight we're not gonna go out um i'm kind of on a money saving mission right about now um yeah i just it's we've been going out so much and spending so much money it has to be stopped so um i really kind of want financial freedom that's what i'm trying to have currently so over the next six months i have to really like buckle down when it comes to my finances pay off a couple of credit cards because baby right now mama is paying a whole car note and when i say a car note i don't mean like nokia or no nissan i'm talking about 
at least like well right now car notes are going for about seven eight hundred yeah that's how much i'm paying right now so um yeah time to pay them off and the bad part about it is it's not even like i didn't have the money to pay it off i was just doing stuff like i just i was doing going on trips and buying clothes buying stuff for the kids going out you get what i'm saying like just stuff that could have been avoided oh that's mr better okay y'all see y'all a little bit later my friend here bye y'all have you gotten to the point like with your parents and i know everybody parents millennials millennial parents so that would be like gen x i know they're like not everybody's parents is like my parents but do you feel as though like you're the parent and it's like sheesh I just want you to be there for me like just one time just one time like so the issue that I'm having right now is that one of my parents I'm not gonna say which one one of my parents haven't been here to come visit or nothing right the other parent is literally like constantly asking them like so when do you want me to get the ticket are we going are we going are we going the other parent made a comment to somebody at church and was like you know oh they can go on the church retreat or whatever say the church is having a church retreat they can go on the church retreat um they deserve to have like a break or a vacation and mind you this during this like church retreat is during the time they were supposed to be coming to come visit me and the kids and you know hubby i ended up telling one of the parents because we was having a conversation me and one of my parents and i was like well just tell them if they don't want to come they don't have to come like i'm i would never force somebody to feel like it's pulling teeth to come visit me you get what i'm saying or come visit the kids or whatever the case may be and granted this particular parent is going through some health issues right now so maybe you know that's making them be like hey i don't want to travel whatever the case may be you know everybody deal with whatever during their own timing but it's like at this point i'm tired of being understanding of my parents behavior in regards to not being supportive like they've literally never been supportive of anything it was to the point that they didn't even get invited to my wedding y'all they weren't even there to see me and kevin get married because they were just that much unsupportive and just not there so they also want me to listen to them when it comes to certain things but it's like why would i listen to you when you've never been there the only time you've been there is just to quote unquote discipline me or tell me everything i've done freaking wrong and my life up to this point i've done based off of my own understanding because you didn't even teach me anything it was just telling me what i was doing wrong not giving me solutions on how to do it right so at this point in my life i feel like the parent i feel like well what the is the point in paying attention to you or like not even not reverencing because of course like they're my parents so i'm gonna reverence them to a certain extent but if you're just looking for me to be like oh my gosh like such amazing parents like it's not gonna happen because you didn't invest what you needed to invest during the time you needed to invest it and that's just one of the things like i really want to talk about to all the moms and stuff out here moms parents in general not even just moms because i hate when everything i hate when everything is put off on the mom like she's just the only one for, like responsible for raising the kids but yeah like as a parent invest in your children now when they're young because if you don't baby once they get older they're not gonna pay attention to you i'm just telling you that they're not 
and that respect that you think you should just automatically have because you pushed them out your cooch or you donated DNA, it ain't gonna be there. I'm sorry, it ain't gonna be there because you didn't do the work, the real work to build a relationship, build rapport and make sure that your child hears your voice throughout multiple situations that they're gonna have in life because you spent the time to sit and talk with them as they were four, five, six, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21, 23, 25, 30. You get what I'm saying? Like it low key doesn't stop, but the crucial moments are while they're children. One parent was just super hard on me just in general and it caused of course a strained relationship and then the other parent was just non-existent so of course that caused the issue of abandonment and rejection like well why are you never here now that particular parent is trying to i guess would try to and i'm not even saying now try to but would try to tell me how I was living my life was wrong and be super over religious and all the rest of this stuff me personally I'm spiritual I'm not really religious because I've had horrible experiences when it comes to the church and Christianity and not only that I feel like my relationship with God is my relationship with God and not for anybody else to contest or discuss you get what I'm saying? Like, if I choose not to go to church, that's a choice of mine that I have. I don't have to go to church, and it doesn't change the relationship that I got with God because I don't go to church. My thing is, I'm pretty sure a lot of people who don't go to church live their life more righteous than people who go to church. And it's that part for me as to why I don't really like going to church because... The people who be there be real life demons, <laughs> okay? They be real life demons, be doing real demonic stuff, and then be sitting there under the guise of Christianity or, you get what I'm saying? Like, trying to play it off like they such good people. That's where I stand in regards to, like, religion. I'm spiritual. I pray to God every day. Um, I pray for people, I talk to God, I listen for God, all that stuff. But going to church, me personally, that's just not something that I subscribe to. I don't feel like anything is wrong with that. Close this door, thanks. I don't feel like anything is wrong with that, especially, I spent my whole life in the church, baby. I spent my whole life saying all my not my whole life, majority of my life, the early life, saying teen childhood, teenage years, being in church. And that's just not something that I want to do. It's not something I want to do anymore. I want to go on my own journey, live my life, praise God and worship God how I choose to worship and praise Him. I'm not Christian. <laughs> I'm non-denomination like I just I'm spiritual like I believe in God I believe that God talks to me I believe in manifestation I believe like God created everyone in this world for a reason um I believe that there are spirits and stuff that do come in between dimensions and stuff like that is like i feel like it's more to this world than just christianity and angels and demons and you have to go to church to be a good person and like i just feel like it's more it's more um complex than that so you know, but to each his own. If you subscribe to the traditional um, rules of Christianity, then that's your business. Like, I still love you. 
if you Muslim, Christian, Jewish, whatever the case may be, like, I still love you as a person. It's just, I don't subscribe to that. And you not about to force me. Just like, I love gay people. I love trans people. Trump supporters. Yeah, love all of y'all. Even though I don't subscribe to that lifestyle or those beliefs, still don't mean that I can't love you just because you're a human being like what you choose to do is what you choose to do and the path that you're on is your path like that has nothing to do with me whoever you're supposed to come across and on your path is your business you get what I'm saying like that's between you and God I'm I'm about to go in I finished cooking dinner earlier I just came from my doctor's appointment I had got a shot. She shot me in my arm. I had got a, uh, what's that, an HPV shot to make sure, you know, I'll be around here catching HPV, which hopefully I wouldn't anyway because my husband ain't cheating on me. I got it just in case. And then um, I also need to get my kiddos the HPV shot too. But, Yeah. So I had went went to you know the OBGYN, did that. That legit was only like ten minutes. Best appointment I ever went to. Um, and then we end up stopping to get some Dairy Queen because I've been craving ice cream, y'all. I got a kid's cup. Um, I feel like yeah. Let me show y'all. Got a kid's cup. Actually, originally got a kid's uh, what's that? What's the name? But um, the kid's cone. I asked her for a cup. She forgot and she put it in the cone. So then she just gave me the cup because I said I wanted a cup. But yeah, I feel like if you're on a weight loss journey and you're like, baby, it's going to be hard <laughs> for me to sit here and, you know, just do a full 180. Start with portion sizes. Don't start with what you eat. I would say to start with what you eat but if you just absolutely cannot i would say start with portion sizes so instead of if you like hey i normally go to wendy's every day and i get a uh, three hamburgers and a chicken nugget take it down to one or two hamburgers and a chicken nugget you know what i'm saying just slowly start to scale back and, and until you're able to do the full 180, you get what I'm saying? I, I learned not to say 360 because 360 puts you exactly back where you were. If you're not able to do the full 180, let's just do a little, a little 25%, you know, change of eating less. Just start with eating less. If you can't really sit there and curb your appetite when it comes to eating sweets and all the rest of that stuff and then slowly over time start to actually change what you eat so me personally and then incorporate exercise i try to do two two and a half hours a day but if i can't do that i make sure to at least get an hour in a day you get what i'm saying so that i'm not just completely not getting any exercise in or mobility in at all because it makes a difference even if i do an hour it still makes a difference so my body feels it so yeah anywho i'm about to head in because i need to take a shower we're going to single bingo tonight so i'll probably film that just to show you guys what single bingo is and i need to go like do my edges and stuff y'all uh, i hope i'm so random but so hopefully i lose some more weight y'all my arms are coming down they were way worse than this way worse so actually to be honest i feel like i might have to get the liposuction to get this all the way gone because honestly i think it's just there baby <laughs> at this point i think it don't matter how many like because I got muscle. Muscle is there. It's just, it's fat. Well, actually, because look, y'all. Hold on. Let's see. 
I got muscle. The muscle stopped right there. So it's not much, but it's much. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you lose 100 pounds. Mm, yeah, I need to get this. All this needs to either get cut away or... Um, what's that cut away or lipo well i don't think it could be lipo i think i'll have to end up getting it cut away y'all <sighs> that and then my stomach <laughs> so i'll take you guys on that journey i more than likely will be going to get a consultation in january <sighs> for that for my arms my stomach and uh breast uh, augmentation I feel like these are just the years that I, I'm getting myself together, okay? Mentally, spiritually, and physically, and financially getting myself together. So, okay, I'm for real, y'all, this time. I'm about to go. Deuces.